Hi, welcome to Naresh ID. This is Kishore, and today we are going to continue the exception handling. Today we are going to discuss how to make nested tri blocks. Okay, how to create the nested tri blocks and how the nested tri blocks are working in our exception handling program. Okay, now I am going to show you how to create the nested tri blocks. Okay, now watch it. I am going to show you one of the example on nested tri blocks. Okay, I O stream. Don't enter dot h because of we are conducting the example in Dev C plus plus. That's why in Dev C plus plus for C plus plus header files. Okay, don't enter the dot h. Next one, using namespace std because of in our example we are going to use C out and C in objects. Actually, C out C in object belongs to which. namespace means uh, std that's why here whenever you are using c out c in object use the namespace std otherwise we have to every time write the std colon colon next uh, int main now just remove the void main in your program and place only the int main in our example next one directly i am going to start a try block here okay here i am going to start a try block and inside this try block just i am going to write a c out welcome next slash n. okay now here welcome is printed next watch it what happens suppose here i am going to write another try block okay here i am going to start another try block within this try block that means one try block within another try block which is called nested try blocks okay now here i am going to write like this c out to inner try block now in this try block i am going to write what c out to inner try block okay fine now the inner try block is having suppose throw keyword okay suppose throw 10 now whenever throw is occurred what happened it directly goes to the related catch and here there is a catch okay now here the catch and here i am going to write some int x for example okay now this catch contains some message something any message no problem at all now see out okay some message here what happened welcome to inner try block now thrown working now slash n now what happened catch of int x now this x is going to receive the 10 now it is going to receive the 10 and this message is going to be thrown that means what it is going to show on the screen that's why first message is what welcome next message is what to inner try block next one it is going to throw something here now i want to show you okay how to throw one exception okay how to throw one keyword within another catch block in this example at a time i want to show you how to throw okay one value within another catch block that means already we are going to throw one value okay now i am going to receive that one in this catch block and now this catch block is going to throw something that means one catch block thrown the value okay how it is used in another catch block now i am going to do like this suppose throw for example some x now brackets closed what happened here first uh, welcome printed to inner try block is printed throw 10 the 10 is received by x and now it is going to work throw working later throw x that means now this catch block is throwing another thing now here what happened this try block this catch block completed and here try block is there no now this try block closed and every try block contains what related catch block now i am going to start another catch block here now catch of for example int y something anything no problem at all now what we are throwing here throw x throw x means what 10 that means once again it is throwing to some value to this catch and this catch belongs to this try block now here i am going to write like this it is outer catch block okay or outer try block that's all now program finished and here 
main function also finished. That means what will happen? When this program is executed, first this try block is working. It is going to see out welcome. First welcome is displayed on the screen. Later this try block. It is going to show to welcome to inner try block. Later throw 10. Now this try is going to this catch because of this catch belongs to this try. Now this catch receives this 10 and responds throw working. Next now the once again this catch block is going to throw something. This one received by outer type block catch. That means now throw x is received by this catch and it is responding giving the message outer try block like this. See this here what it is try. Now it is what try one try within another try. Now it is called nested try blocks ok. Like this we can nested any number of try blocks in our programming and we can throw values in another catch block also. In this example I have covered two topics one is nested try blocks means nesting of try blocks and another one is how to throw the value within another catch block ok. How to throw the value within another catch block ok. Thank you, thank you for watching.